In today's video, we are going to compare Gorilla Glue vs regular super glue and their holding power when mixed with ordinary baking soda. I cut out this small spoon from a straw to avoid making too much of a mess when adding the baking soda. Let's begin. As you can see the selling point of Gorilla Glue is its viscosity versus the very runny super glue. But as you'll see, it's precisely this quote unquote advantage that gives super glue a leg up. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's see what happens when we add baking soda. Please be aware that this is a chemical reaction, so safety is still a priority. Notice I'm adding baking soda to the glue and not the other way around. I had done that and was unpleasantly surprised to get a whiff of the vapors that come from the interaction. Just making sure that we cover up all of the glue. Of course, other than using paper to protect my surface, I can collect the baking soda that didn't react with the glue. It's a little hard to tell on the video, but the super glue hardened right away and all that's left is some residual baking soda powder. But the Gorilla Glue had absolutely no reaction with the baking soda. Let's collect some of this powder. As I fold over the paper, you can see how the super glue baking soda combo keeps its shape yet the Gorilla Glue is still quite jelly-like. Now, one purpose of this experiment is to see how my PLA 3D prints can be glued together. Let's see how each of these will work. I will even wait a few seconds to see if there's any change. Nope. Not even a mediocre adhesion. I would have to wait the full 24 hours for the Gorilla Glue to solidify in order for this to possibly work. But if I'm short for time, or want a really strong hold, this won't work. Let's recollect the baking soda and try again. This time with the super glue. What do you think will happen? Now that's more like it. Instant hold. Not too bad. Pretty strong, but can be reinforced from the other side. Give me a like for the applicator spoon. That is quite strong. Of course, with too much pressure, this will break, but I don't want to test it. And there we have it. As you saw, super glue plus baking soda creates an instant, strong hold in order to adhere 3D prints. If you have any questions, please let me know below. Also, if you've tried this combo before, how did it go for you? Please like, share, and subscribe. Your support is much appreciated. Have a great day.